So this is one of the premier woods that is available today. It's uh, white limba, corinna, it's also known as black limba, but that's only when you get streaks running through. So there's some confusion around the name. When people say black limba, you're expecting a darker piece of board. But no, that's just the streaks running through the white limba. It is not as rare as Gibson would make you think it is. It is available from certain vendors, certain wholesalers, if you know who to go to. A lot of times when this comes in from Africa, uh, Gibson, Ed Roman, a bunch of folks buy it up. It's taken me almost two years to get a new shipment. About five years ago I bought 400 board feet, which are these guitars and these bodies. And since then I've been waiting to place another order. And now, just recently, I've placed another order for uh, 300 board feet. It's definitely a premier wood. It has a very similar tone to, to mahogany. It has the same workability as mahogany. It is open poured. It has an excellent tap tone. It comes in different types of grains and colors. You can tell the different coloration from the center. To the outside here. This blank sounds good as well. A little bit brighter. You can hear it ring. Only difference with this piece is you got a little bit different coloration because of the it's two different boards. You got this board here glued up and you got this board. Of course it is the famous wood for the flying V. This is a flying V copy that I made. For myself I did a neck through design and it sounds outstanding you know it's got uh, great sustain it's an excellent wood to work with it's easy to carve easy to sand I put a fat fender C profile on here uh, it's a real beautiful wood it does stain um, so you got to be careful w w once you're done if you get a water spot on it uh, it will stain uh, it does dry, I'd say difficult. You'll get some wood from Africa and it'll be, I would say, 30% moisture content. People will throw it in a kiln and it'll start to crack. Uh, so when I first purchased this wood, I cut into it, planed it, sawed it, and lo and behold, all my pieces started cracking and checking because I was forcing it to dry too quickly. So now I've learned, you know, I buy the wood, let it sit for six, seven months, put a fan on it you know get a dehumidifier going and the wood you know wood's great it takes a great color I've never really stained it you know it's such a beautiful color uh, it, it's not really used for anything other than guitars which is why you know I, I think you don't see a lot of it this is a blues hawk I made out of you know this would be considered black limbo because of the streaks a lot of the times I've been lucky enough to find uh, some really light pieces in my stash. So I may mean, find pieces that are very similar, like a swamp ash almost, very lightweight, very resonant, just nothing else that you've seen uh, in terms of color and, and tap tone. You know, Gibson definitely owns the market on this wood, you know, much like mahogany, uh, but this is just a tad rare. You just need to know where to go. You can find it on eBay. There's a guy out in New York who also sells it, uh, who sells guitar body blanks. If you do an internet search, you can find them. In terms of workability, it is very easy to work with. This is that same Makita, 18 volt. I'll drill a hole here. Goes right in without much force. You know, the bit is not hot. You know, won't dull your tools. Easy to work with. Overall, it's an excellent wood.